Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are unboxing the Part 2 Radio Eva Asuka 1-7 scale from Evangelion. I think I said that right. Um, she's here, the box is stunning, her picture is stunning, and I am super, super stoked to get her out of this box today. This is my first, not only my first Asuka figure, but also my first Radio Eva figure. Uh, I missed out on pre-orders when the Part 1 series came out, but to be honest, I'm not really that mad about it. Just because even though I thought it was cute, I was still a little meh about it. I like the part one's clothes and like pose, but something was a little off about the face on that one. But now I have this one and I like this one so much better and I cannot, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> unbox her right now. So please make sure you like and subscribe and let me know what you think. Oh my goodness, she is so stunning. Just like looking at this picture, I'm like so, you guys, I'm so excited, but yeah, let me get, let me know what you guys think in the uh, comment section below, and without further ado, let's get started. I <laughs> very much regret not pre-ordering Madi. Uh, I usually put in my pre-orders on Ami Ami, and she's closed on there, I believe. And I really loved her. I thought she was so stunning, but for some reason, I couldn't get myself to hit that pre-order button and I'm regretting it very much right now. I do, however, have Kaudu on pre-order, thankfully, because Kaudu is one of my favorites in that series. Um, I still need to pre-order Shinji, which I'm having the same problem as I did with Madi, where I just can't seem to hit that pre-order button. Let's, let's just enjoy this moment right now. Uh, maybe this will get me to pre-order it finally hit that button and pre-order it because I really do like Shinji's a lot and Madi's um, so maybe this will convince me to go find them and get them. I don't know what I'm more excited about <laughs> for this figure if it's like all the detailing I saw that was added in the prototype or the fact that it's Asuka. I think this is also like my first figure where like I have like a character in streetwear or something right? I think so. <laughs> Oh my god, this is... Wow. Oh wow, okay. This is literally so much better than I expected. Holy crap. Okay, she's got a bunch of like plastic and little um, foam thingies around the strands of her hair, which I do like because Although it's hard to take out, but I do like because there's that added protection on there. Oh, that's not very hard. Okay, so before, oh, wow. Before I show her to you, let me take out the base too. Um, the base is just, wow, it's got a little weight to it, which I kind of like, and it has metal pegs. And it's just a plain base that says Radio Eva. Yeah, meeting new quality via Evangelion. But it's like a plain base, but also not plain, like with the way it's colored and the material on it, it almost feels like glass. I like it, I dig it, I think it's cool. Um, not too big either, but I feel like, I wonder if this gets like fingerprint stains on it easily. Okay, let's put her on her base. Okay, so we got her on her base. And oh my god, I'm just like taking this in. There is like so many things that I love about this. First of all, this pose is literally everything. The way her hair is blowing through like the wind, the texture in her clothes is literally my favorite, especially like on the jacket and her shorts. That little fluffy texture, like you, just by looking at it, you know how that jacket is supposed to feel along with those shorts you know like the material of it you know what i mean even even went as far as to like add so much like detail to the inside of the hat that she's holding literally look at all that fur that 
immaculate. I'm, I'm like geeking out on this right now. Even like the outfit in general is so stylish. I always love the clothes that Radio Eva illustrations come up with, I except for that one of Ray from the part two Evangelion. I liked it. I liked her pose and everything. I thought she was super cute. I just didn't like that lace at the bottom of the jacket that she's wearing. At first I did before it got painted and then it got painted I'm like Ugh. I'm like kind of over this so I never that's another one that I never pre-ordered but I don't really regret it as much as the Madi or Kaudu one but anyways I'm just like trying to imagine <laughs> if she looks this good now I'm just trying to imagine how much better she'll look posed next to Kaudu, Shinji, and Madi. I, I'm just like Clearly I'm speechless. I love the Philly shoes that they wear. Let me just, let me just say that. Literally I want those shoes. That, that's all I can, that's all I can say. Um, I think a lot of people on the My Fitter Collection site were, I, I think they were worried about her hair being too glossy, but really, hopefully you can tell better on the B-roll that I put in here, but really it's not that glossy at all. It's just, I feel like there are some bits that are a little shiny, but but it's only like a hint of it. You can't really, honestly, I, I think it's perfect. I, I don't think it's like super glossy or anything. Um, the glossiest thing on this figure is that bag, which again, I absolutely freaking love. She's like painted so clean. I'm like so mesmerized by Asuka, you guys, right now. <laughs> like I can't. Clearly I'm not forming my words correctly and clearly it's because I'm so in love with her. I want to say that the hat is removable. Yeah, the hat is removable. No? Wait, hold on. Don't quote me on that. No, I don't think it is. I thought I saw somewhere that the hat was removable, but I'm not opening the instructions and I like her with the hat, so we're leaving it at that. I love the little like extra lines of text just like splattered around the clothing like you have them of course you have the brand of the shoes on there but like you have text along the side of her pants you have um even like i don't know if you'll be able to tell but even on her bag it says uh filla on it outlined in like orange or like a very light yellow or whatever you can barely see it but it's literally there if you look close enough oh my god i also really love that little what is it, a mascot or whatever? Oh, that, oh, I just realized that. Isn't that her like doll when she was little that she kept around on her shorts? Oh my God, I literally just realized that. I love this figure even more. Oh my God, I, this is everything. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. She's so freaking. Oh, this is so cool. Uh, what I was going to say before I realized that is I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe everything that these figures are wearing, including the other characters, I believe you can actually buy them in the Radio Eva shop, which is super neat. I absolutely love. It's like a cute little promotion. Oh my God, this jacket is like crazy to me. If I had to be like super, super nitpicky about this figure. I will say, I do like how her hair isn't super glossy or anything, but I wish there was just a touch more shading in it. I don't know, I've, am I wrong on that? Uh, you let me know if you have this figure, but I just wish there was a little bit more, I don't know, like dark to light or something. But I think they got the color, her base color, the base color of her hair, <laughs> right? And everything else is perfect about her hair. I'm just playing devil's advocate here. Just a touch more shading would have been really nice. Uh, I almost feel like her, I don't even know what they're called, her little clips on her hair. I almost feel like that has a lot more shading than her actual hair. It goes from like dark at the bottom to like a lighter red. Uh, I am going to be displaying her next to my Misato and, where is it, where is it, where is it? Oh, Misato and Shinji and Kaoru. I don't know at this point if I need to make an Evangelion shelf. 
since I am having Kaoru coming in and I am most definitely now going to be pre-ordering Madi, well not Madi because I missed her, but trying to find Madi and buying her and pre-ordering Shinji. I still don't know about Rei. I absolutely love this, I don't know, candid streetwear aesthetic. It's like they're modeling, but they're also not modeling. I don't know. I don't know. This is just, th this whole, oh my God. I'm like, I have no words, no words right now. God, I am in love with this. I am in love with her. I'm so happy that this is my first Asuka figure and my first Radio Eva figure that I got because this just gets me so much more hyped for the rest of them. Ah, she's so cute! I love her! Oh my god. I didn't think I can love Asuka any more than I already do but here we are. <laughs> here we are falling in love all over again. Oh, she is, she is worth every penny. I promise you that. Uh, so if you are going back and forth on whether you want to go seek her out, you guys, she is stunning. She is so stunning. I definitely recommend getting her. Oh my goodness. I don't know how clear this video was. Clear from me tripping over all my words while I'm like entranced by her, but hopefully it was clear enough for you to tell that I really like her. <laughs> also, I'm hoping to God that the B-roll does her justice. I suck at camera work when it comes to B-rolls and stuff like that, I know, but I'm, I'm still really hoping that I could, I could capture just how beautiful she is. I did see the preview for the next Evangelion figures coming up and the illustration for that. I, we're gonna have a problem because I am in love with like every one of those characters in that illustration, even Ray's. So, <laughs> but but that but that's for like future me to worry about. So she looks very very accurate to the prototype too. So I got no complaints, you guys. I that's she's a stunning figure. I recommend her. And yeah. So if you already have her, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And uh, with that, I will see you in the next video, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Bye-bye, guys.